we give all glory, all honor, and all the praise unto our God. For now, nearly 39 years of my life, I have spent it even serving the Lord. And one thing that I can say is that Jesus has not failed me yet. We, sometime in our lives, we might be drawn away, even from him, by temptations, the trials of our life, the tribulations, and even the desires and the lusts that come to us from the devil. All of these things are prevalent in our lives. But today, I recommend Jesus. I recommend him to you. The proverb writer, he tells us in Proverbs 23 and 23, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. We ought to be drawn even unto our God, even at this time. If you have any questions about salvation, please feel free to ask your questions. We believe that the Bible is God's holy word from earth to glory, that if we're ever going to be saved, we must indeed listen and obey the word of God. The only question that you should have even right now, the question of salvation, is what must I do to be saved? God has given us instruction through his word, Romans 10, 17. So then faith come by hearing, and hearing come by the word of God. After hearing, we must believe it, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that's coming to God must believe that he is, and he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. We must then repent of our sin. Luke 13, 3 and 5. The Lord said, I tell you no, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. We must confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son. Matthew 10, 32 and 33. The Lord said, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, I will confess him or her before my Father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, I will deny him before my Father which is in heaven. We must then be baptized in water to have our sins washed away, have our bodies washed pure and white in the blood of the Lamb. Why don't we do this even now? Why don't we trust God? We must then continue to be faithful unto death. Revelation 2 and 10. But be thou faithful unto death. And the Lord said, I will give you a crown of life that faded not away. We must continue to be faithful unto death. John 8, 31, 32. Jesus said to those Jews that believed on him, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask your question. We give thanks to our God. In Jesus' name.